Thank you, Madam President. Welcome, Irvin Knight. Good evening, everyone. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the extended Thanksgiving Day break. It's good to see so many people here um, and, and festive red shirt holiday colors. Um, thank you all for making time to come to our meeting. Uh, it, it'd, be, it'd be great to see you here more often. And um, even we have some green represented, too. That's good. Um, all across the districts, our students and staff collected over 13,000 non-perishable food items and 80 turkeys, which were donated to local food banks for Thanksgiving. Student councils and cheer committee worked to promote food drives, and some of our staff and family members participated in an evening of helping with homework and serving food for homeless at St. Vincent de Paul. Thank you, all of you, if you're here to uh, help out with that. Uh, there was a Kids at Hope Thanksgiving luncheon for students and staff, and the students at tables decorated, provided greeters for guests, and uh, we thank all of our students and staff for promoting a caring community, extended wishes for a wonderful holiday season, in whatever uh, way your families celebrate their time together. Our winter break begins with release on Friday the 19th and ends with the start of school at the regular time, Monday morning, January 5th. Um, Sion again sponsored the anti-bullying, bully-free zone coloring contest during the National Bullying Prevention Month in October. The company said the competition was a huge success as they received more than 500 entries from school districts across the U.S. and Canada. The, they uh, first launched the anti-bullying coloring contest in 2013 to inspire educators, children, parents, and school bus transportation staff um, you know, to engage in a discussion and activities to prevent bullying on buses. Some of you may remember back then there were some nationally televised bus bullying incidents. And so Sion's marketing team was impressed with how creative the colorings were, how strong uh, both the kids and the adults cared about creating a safe environment without bullying. And the Littleton School District students submitted over 200 entries. Um, they announced winners of this year's contest, and congratulations goes out to Mariana Peralta, fifth grader from Collier Elementary, who rides, <laughs> who rides the silver bus. Uh, her driver is Mrs. Shelley Nelson. Each winner will receive a Sion Stuffed Teddy Bear, official anti-bullying support medal. A medal. Um, additionally, the company awarded the school um, of each winner with a Bully Project DVD educator's kit and a $500 donation to help support anti-bullying education. So congratulations, Collier. <laughs> Country Place Elementary Robotics Team, the Avatar, Avatar Solutions for Learning, competed in the West Valley Regional FLL Robotics. I think that's a Lego thing, right? Um, tournament this past Saturday. They won the Robot Design Award. They also qualified for the state tournament this coming Saturday at ASU. Uh, we want to wish them luck, stamina, determination, patience, perseverance, all the stuff the gifted kids need to win. Um, competitions like this and rich activities uh, like those Arizona SciTech Festival help keep our curriculum relevant for our students, and we're working with schools to add a new role to student government, and that's the Secretary of Science position to be a champion for campus-wide student engagement, interest in the popularity of STEM and innovation. STEAM is STEM when you include the arts, and the arts are, continue to be really important in our district. They're funded largely by our local taxpayer override approvals. Uh, we want to start out with two students from each school, and they'll attend a summer retreat to learn how to do this so that by, 20, uh, by the year 2016-17, there will be opportunities for 10 times as many kids to be involved. And this is all through a partnership with the Arizona Commerce Authority, who is responsible for the Arizona SciTech Festival. And they'll provide with opportunities to bring speakers and workshops, additional field trips, science nights, clubs, and those kind of things to our students. Um, we recently learned that our students' participation in the Gallup Student Survey um, to assess hope, engagement, and well-being are in. And these are key factors that drive students' grades, achievement scores, retention, and future employment potential. Uh, research suggests that students who are hopeful for the future um, drives their effort, academic achievement, credits earned, and um, retention of students at all ages. The research and engagement supports the involvement in and enthusiasm for how um, well students do in school. And research about students who have a sense of well-being tells us about how students are doing today and predicts their success in the future. So in Littleton, student averages for HOPE were nearly identical to the U.S., 4.4 uh, out of 5. Our students' averages for engagement were 
uh, 4.22 and a little higher than the U.S. average. For well-being is divided into two categories. On a 10-point scale, um, Littleton at 7.7 .7 was above the U.S. and very similar to the U.S. at 8.5 for how they uh, feel um, they'll be in the next five years. Those student ratings are comparable or higher uh, than their national peers, which suggests that we're not falling too far behind in hope, engagement, and well-being. It's important because the statewide data shows that Arizona trails the nation in these kind of measures. Uh, many of you heard the Ames test is being replaced this year by the new AZ Merit from AIR. That's a significant change because so many state policies are tied to state achievement tests, and we're continuing to make preparations for the new state exam. <coughs> Um, as information comes out from the Department of Education, our information technology and teaching and learning teams are working in collaboration to address the time frames and logistics for administering the new test in April with computers rather than the traditional paper pencil test. State Board of Education is working on the impact that this new test will have on all the other policy issues. Uh, just this week, they passed recommendations related to AZ Learn's accountability system. The State Board will seek flexibility and accountability for up to two years and the necessary le uh, legislation to allow flexibility in statewide accountability measures. This year, the board will adopt a new 8F accountability system, identify needed legislative changes, as well as revisit the framework for teacher and principal evaluation. Next year, in 2015-16, they'll pilot the implementation of those modified accountability programs and continue working with the legislature as necessary. So in the meantime, they've pledged transparency and active communication, uh, provide local governing boards with flexibility in, Im in implementing statutory consequences, teacher principal baseline data are going to be collected in the statewide assessment. And during this transition, we'll have to rely a lot on our own achievement data to address policy issues like retention of non-reading third graders because we don't anticipate having any AZ merit scores from the spring until uh, well into next fall. Um, and uh, last but not least, the playoffs are here. Volleyball started Monday, continues all week. Championship game will be played next Monday. The all-star game will be played the last day of school before break. The ladies from Littleton and Quinton both finished their seasons as number one seed in their divisions. So they receive a first round bye and those coaches have the honor of coaching the All-Star Game. The regular flag football season finishes up tonight. Um, then the playoffs begin Thursday. Championship game will be played a week from tonight, and the All-Star Game will be played on Thursday the 18th. Trace Rios and Estrella Vista finish their seasons. Uh, number one seeds in their division, so they earned first round by, and those coaches uh, will be coaching their all-star game. In closing, I want to express appreciation to um, Afrin Cantu for the donation of Gatorade, Bobby Barnes for supplies to Estrella Vista PTSA for their donation of funds uh, for field trip costs, and to Julie Fock for, um, Foch for donation of funds to Quentin Field Trips. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you, Dr. Freeman.